76 near-death experiences. That's a lot. I can't say, I can't say no, and <laughs> I, I just love, love a challenge. So if you somebody do. says, you, you know, let's see if we can fly around the world in a hot air balloon, I'd say I'm in for that. You go some, for it. No, I, I think, uh, like, yeah, life's been um, the richer for it, um, and obviously there have been occasions where... I've been dangling from a balloon at 35,000 feet uh, where everything's gone wrong and um, wondering... You're still here. <laughs> what, why why, why you're I still said, here. Yes. And, I mean, when you think about it, no regrets. No, no, no. no. I, I'd be a very sad person if I had any yeah. regrets. I mean, I had, had a um, fascinating full uh, life and still am and enjoying every minute of it and, and learning every second. Which exactly. That's the thing about you, though. Every single day, it's that thing you've got curiosity and you want to find out and you want yeah. to accept challenges. And you're yeah. Not. No, I mean, I think, I, think I, I never went to college and I just see life as one long university education I never yeah. had and, and just love people, love meeting new people and le learning from them and listening to them. And, uh, and that's what makes life magical. And you have met some amazing people. I love the fact that you accepted a call from Nelson Mandela while you were in the bath. Because <laughs> the thing is, if he calls, you know, God bless him, if, you know, when, when the late Nelson Mandela yeah. calls, you answer. I'd, I'd been with him the day before in South Africa. Uh, we'd organised a concert to try to raise awareness for AIDS. And I just got back, got in the bath, got this call from him saying, get back on the next plane, um, the, the, our big health club chain is going bust and 5,000 people will be out of work. Of course, if he calls, you're on the next plane and you're back to South Africa. And, and you're sorting and, it out. And, um, and, and we, we ended up, uh, Virgin Active became the biggest health club provider in South Africa. Incredible. And um, we became good friends for many years and did lots of great things together. No, so absolutely. What an order that must have been. Yeah. Well, there's someone else that's fascinating in the book, Donald Trump. You've had a few run-ins with the Trump. Um, very, very interesting that you speak about him because he seems to be a man that takes revenge. You know, he wasn't like... You're kind of like, OK, yeah. we haven't got on, move on. Um, but he doesn't believe in sort of, like, keep your enemies close, does he? He just wants to No, I mean, it's, it, it's a slightly that... sad, sad uh, trait, I think, of, yeah. in his personality. And, and um, I had a, a, a lunch with him where he talked about five people who hadn't put up some money to help him out of bankruptcy and how he was going to spend the rest of his life destroying them. And, and, oh. and, and I said, it's not, not... A waste of energy. A waste of energy. Yeah. And, um, uh, and sadly, he's, he's obviously in a slightly dangerous position now, but let's, no. hope, let's hope he doesn't mess it up. <sighs> I can't hope. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Um, I remember back in the day, it used to be, you know, especially with Virgin Airlines, and you had Ivana, his then wife, <laughs> and you burled her upside down. It was just a thing they used to do. <laughs> you used to burl people upside down. You probably wouldn't get away with that now, would you? You wouldn't be able to no, burl people No, I think, I think you know... Times um, have changed. I mean, I wouldn't... I would, I would that's never, not her, by the way, but... I, I would never have done it to anybody who was... Who wouldn't want it. Who wouldn't want it. No. Um, and, and that's the difference. But, Absolutely. But again, today, yep, you'll be more sensitive, which, which may be a good thing. Mm. Um, but... Um, um, in those days, you know, if you, if you were going to get on the front page of the newspaper, you turn somebody up. So you're down. very, very good at that, though. <laughs> but doing it and just knowing how far to, to go, yeah, that's, no, it's that's important, the thing. it's important to get the balance. Now, can we talk about Necker, this amazing island? And it has been battered and hammered. <laughs> and we, we all remember the terrible fire mm. that happened there. And Kate Winslet, it was like a movie. Kate Winslet <laughs> was there, so a horror movie, for goodness sake, and she saved your mum. Yeah, I mean, she it's said amazing. it was more, yeah, more, yeah, more realistic than the Titanic the film that she made, and and um, yeah, she she managed to get my mum out of the building and and all her own children, and um, uh, and then of course we've just had the hurricane, which was another uh, thing which obviously I write about yeah. in the book, um, which um, yeah was it was the, the most devastating hurricane in history, mm -hmm. and um, but you know we're, we're we're lucky we can we can uh, rebuild and we've we've got. Helping the, you know, the, the the Caribbean as a whole, and it's sure. it's getting back on its feet. Good, I'm glad to hear it. And and Kate's part of the family now, isn't she? Because she not only rescued your mum, she found love. Yeah, she fell in love. <laughs> she actually, because of the fire, she she stayed on an extra couple of days to help out and fell in love with my nephew and and, and got. Um, you know, beautiful child by gorgeous. Uh, she was yeah. she was in here not that long ago. All of the whole family, really yeah. lovely. She's yeah. very happy. She's she's um, it's good. Uh, yeah, very very. Yeah, happy. no, it's yeah. very very good. And I love the fact that you've got a hot tub there, and it's almost like a counselling session because <laughs> celebrities, if they're having a bad time, they can just come to your place. And you, but it's good. You give them a sort of haven, you know, where they can just hide away and repair themselves. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, it, an island is, is the advantage of an island is people can come and yeah. draw, pull up the drawbridge and and uh, let their hair down. And um, so we're lucky; we've had a lot of you know wonderful people. And 
Um, and yeah, I mean, but obviously, when 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 the Obamas left, they came and spent a couple of weeks there um, just to not not see what was going on in America and exactly and have, just have, have just a have time. that little bit of space I and learn to kite. Completely yeah. understand that. <laughs> Talking about space, how exciting! Do you need anybody to serve snacks and drinks? In your, in your spaceship, because, we're, we're, I mean, I'll do it for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be I, but what an incredible legacy. And for just, even if that was mm. all, the, the yeah. whole kind of space thing, even if that was all... Because if you can make that reachable, if, we, if people can actually aspire to do that, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's been a dream I've had for, you know, for many, many years. Governments would not, never... You know, be interested in you no, or me. No, it's down to people like you. It's down to people like you because if you exactly, if you don't do that, yeah. then who's going to? Yeah. Well, we 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 uh, we are determined to. We think we're just about getting. You know, just it's just about us on the on the start of something very funny. exciting. And you know, we've had two flights this year. Um, you know, travelling at two times the speed of sound straight up, and um, the next one will be next month, and then. You know, hopefully the one after that will be actually into space. So it's, it's very, very, very exciting.